you guys welcome to another vlog today is monday march 1st i believe yes today is monday march 1st and we are doing a like somewhat of a maintenance vlog i have a full week prepared for appointments and just getting myself together um i'm supposed to have a birthday dinner this saturday i believe Sunday, Sunday. Um, my birthday is March 8th. Um, so yeah, this week I'm really just getting things together. It's just gonna look cute because I've been coming on camera looking really, 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 really dusty. Okay? <laughs> I want y'all to know like, girl, okay? This is how I be looking, okay? Not to say we can't get cute over here, okay? I, I like to say that. Like, I can do it up, okay? When it needs to be done. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm just in my natural element. I just posted the last vlog of February yesterday and, and you guys have really been loving the vlogs and I'm just like so happy. Like that literally makes me so happy because girl, I be trying, okay? I be trying. I promise you it's sometimes so hard to pick up a camera and just like record your like day-to-day, -day, you know, process. And then sometimes like I be doing things, I'm like, oh man, I could have recorded that for the girls. But I be forgetting sometimes. But either way, like I'm so glad that y'all love that because again, like it just really helps me and it keeps me going like when I get such good feedback from you guys. But an update on Zane. He's doing much better. His bowel movements are coming back, okay? It's not loose anymore. Consistency is a little bit off, but um, he is still doing better. He takes his last round of medicine today. But yeah, so he's doing much better. Thank you so much, you guys, for like giving me all the tea. Like I said, me being a first-time pet mom, Google wasn't doing it for me, okay? Google was really having me worried and stressed over here. <laughs> and then also, I just found out from you guys, which I'm so grateful. Like, you guys don't even know. And that's why I like to talk to you guys because it's so helpful like you guys don't know how helpful it is but you know a lot of you guys said that you know I have to be careful with the pompous grass around Zane because pompous grass can be toxic to dogs and I didn't even know that and I did look it up and I seen that yes it is toxic to dogs one of the side effects of a dog ingesting pompous grass will be diarrhea that lets me know that i need to adjust and make sure that there's no pompous grass in reach of zane now i know that i need to be extra careful when it comes to the pompous grass all right y'all so i literally just got this package <clears throat> in the mail and it's like this little led picture light what does it say? Girl, I don't know. It's a wireless remote control three-tone color LED picture light. So I just got this from Amazon. Girl, I don't know what I'm doing, but we're going to try and make something work. I think it's really cute and sleek. I want this to go... Um, Good man. I want this to go above my, uh, what do you call it? Above my mirror. So this is how it looks. Let me read the instruction. Oh, it does work. That looks nice. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so I want it to go right here. I can't really see it, but I want it to go like right here. extra but i know i'm the same love me in spite of my trauma give me what i need instead of the drama cause when it pop off it's like oh my all good all day but the night we be going so hard on the flip side so tell me we'll be on a date babe i could 
keep that same energy When you go low, I go low too But you'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way Tryna control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby, we could go all night do it all night. Uh -huh. We could go all night, all night. Do we heal? Do we bleed? I'ma follow your lead, but we could go all night. Now all of my calls go to voicemail. I block you so I don't raise hell. Should the talk through it in detail? A separate ways ain't gon' end well. No. All right, you guys, so I have the um, picture light up. I think it looks really good in my opinion. Um, quick update, I did end up keeping the two um, cream ivory baskets from Target. Um, the black just really didn't do it for me. Sorry, there's an echo. So the cream really just made this space seem very bright and airy, even when the light is off. So I decided to keep those in. Um, I can also like switch out the decor every now and then. This is how this whole area looks right now. I feel like it's very simplistic um, and it's pretty much complete. I do plan to get like some little blankets and things like that to kind of go over it just to give it a nice little style or whatever. Really quick about this little picture light. I got it off Amazon. I will link it down below. I think I did a pretty good job mounting it. Um, it was actually very, very easy. So it comes with this little remote here and it's battery operated. So I like that. It's easy to slide this light on and off. And I like that. So what you do here, let me turn off the light. So this is with the light off. And then it has like, so what you do is turn it on. Damn, that mirror is dirty. And <laughs> get it together. Wow. But anyway, once I clean the mirror. But this is such a fun. Like, y'all don't even know how vibey this is. I love that. Like, y'all see that? That is such a vibe. So, um, you can dim it. As you can see, it does this weird little thing to the camera once it's dim. Or you can brighten it back up. Um, you can also put it at 50% or back to 100%. You see that? So, I like that. Um, you can set a timer as well. Definitely like that. Um, so you could do 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and 120 minutes. And then it has warm and daylight. So right now what we're on. So right now we're on the warm setting. And then this is the daylight setting. The daylight is just too bright for me. Like it, it's not a mood. <laughs> See daylight, but the warm setting is definitely a mood. So yeah, I really like this right here. It's definitely a vibe. All right, hey y'all. It is March 2nd. It is about 11.45. I'm trying to make it to my appointment, which is my eyebrow appointment. If these people drive faster, like dang, they drive so slow. But anyway, so I'm trying to make it to my appointment. Can I go in here? Um, for my eyebrow, I'm gonna see if she'll let me record. Reserve, corner, reserve only, okay. This is your first time doing henna for your eyebrows? Yes, too? yes. Okay. Documenting while you do this. Um, I'm just gonna do my like just the eyebrows, okay, really. Perfect, so perfect. if you don't want to be on camera, that's completely fine. You just tell me. Okay, how awesome. Do it. Yeah, no, you're good. Okay. Um, you can have a seat in the chair. Okay. And then you are welcome to do everything. If you cannot get me today, if you want to do another time, you can. Okay, you're fine. No, I'm just gonna do the eyebrows. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you look beautiful, so um, <laughs> you're yeah, welcome. Yeah, looks like it's a really weird angle. And, um, yeah, so we'll talk to you about your shape. Your shape looks really, really great already. So I just kind of want to talk to you about what my plan is for them, okay. how they're going to look, and then I'll talk to you a little bit about how I do henna while I'm waxing, so okay. you know too. And your waxing process today is going to be different than normal because of your chemical peel. Okay. Um, what I'll have you do if you can is when you're done here today, call the spa that you went to and ask them the kind of chemical peel. Okay. And ask them for a recommendation of when you can have soft wax again. Okay. Soft wax. Because so today we're doing hard because it's not going to exfoliate as much and soft wax 
It gives you a little bit of a cleaner because uh -huh. it gets all the hairs as well as exfoliates your skin. Uh -huh. Where hard wax may leave a little bit of like the peach fuzz behind oh. and it's not gonna exfoliate your skin the same way. So it's a little bit more gentle, which is why we're doing that one. Okay, okay, perfect. So what we're gonna do for your brows today is if you look, they are starting right where they're supposed to. So they're right in line with your nose, which is beautiful. Your arch is falling exactly where it's supposed to as well. And your tail is right where it should end. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow the natural width of your eyebrow. So we're gonna go right along the top here and just clean this up. I don't wanna change the integrity of your eyebrow because they look so good. So we're just gonna clean up right in between. We're gonna come right underneath here. I'm gonna follow that natural thickness. So I'm gonna clean all these little ones up here and then just come right down here. So we're gonna give you a soft high arching. Okay. Does that work? Yes, yes. Okay. So then when I henna, I start at your tail mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna go about three quarters of the way this way. Mm -hmm. And then for the second half of your developing, I'll then put it in the front so that way this is your darkest part and then you have a nice soft natural front. Okay, perfect. I see your work, I trust you. Okay. So, so my birthday is on uh, Monday, but I'm having a dinner on um, Sunday. So uh, I'm just getting prepared for it. replenish your hair it's good for your skin it's good for your hair growth so like I was saying earlier just leave this on for the day if you can I know it's a little bit oily and greasy feeling but it is really good for your skin okay. so, awesome. all right you guys so I made it back um, into the car I'm actually about to head to my toe appointment I was running a little bit late so I wasn't running late, but I was kind of running late. Oh, it's real great. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is the henna tattoo. Um, and not henna tattoo, why do I keep saying that? It's the henna brow, so um, they're using like uh, just pigments. I don't know what it is, to be honest with you, um, but I heard that it lasts longer than um, the eyebrow tint. So that's what I decided to um, go with because my dinner is on Sunday. And I just kind of want more. Oh, it's only is it only a one way? I heard that Hannah brows last longer than um, eyebrow tint, and she did confirm that it does. Sorry if the lighting looks weird or whatever. But anyway, so I wanted something that lasts a little bit longer, and I think it looks really good. I did go black brown today, I believe. Um, so it's a little bit darker. Um, obviously, over time, it is going to lighten. right now <laughs> um but it is march 3rd um i feel like this vlog has been all over the place like i don't know if it's good or not it's supposed to be my maintenance vlog but yeah but i have certain moments like where i just don't want to do anything um and i think it's necessary to take a break i already know like all of that or whatever but yeah i haven't really been posting on instagram if you guys see i have to post something this week because um i have a sponsorship or sponsor content oh <laughs> I'm watching Will of Fortune and she went bankrupt. I'm old, y'all. I be watching these old shows. But anyway, so um 
I have sponsored content that's supposed to go up this week or whatever, so I will be posting um, this week. But I haven't really been in the mood to take any pictures or do anything. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just haven't been in the mood. Um, I'm editing this video right now. Um, it's a sponsored video. It's going to be my spring morning routine. So you guys, please, please, please check that out because there is sponsored content in there. And you know, it just really helps me out a lot whenever y'all are engaging with my sponsored videos. I'm going to wash my wig. I have an appointment tomorrow. I try to get my hair done, like my actual hair because I literally haven't had a relaxer since. I think I told you this um, the other day, but I haven't had a relaxer since like beginning of November, end of October, somewhere around that time. So it's been a few months now and my new growth is coming in. I actually have built up gel, girl. It looks so horrible. And I really was trying to get um, my hair done before um, tomorrow, but it just didn't work out like that. I have a passport appointment, so I need to get my hair because I'm taking a picture. So I need to get my hair ready for this passport. I want to look cute. For the picture or at least decent for the picture so yeah that's that i'm about to come on here really quick you guys because i do not like my eyebrows like <laughs> and so she didn't do a bad job and when i went to my nail tech she said that she liked them they didn't look bad or whatever um and like i did wash them a little bit so they look okay now they're not as dark as they were yesterday but they're still dark um and i just don't like them like i don't like them um so i had contacted the lady today so i contacted the lady today and she was like really really cool about it because i told her that i like the shape because i do really like the shape of the eyebrows um i just told her that i just feel like they were a little bit too dark for my liking and i was just wanting to know if there's anything that i could do to lighten them up like while i'm at home or whatever because i have a dinner on sunday and um that's when i'm taking my pictures for my dress or whatever and I just didn't want like dark eyebrows. So yeah, I don't know. But again, she was super duper nice about it today. And um, I have to I have to respond. I didn't respond. <laughs> she basically said that I can use face wash to rub them um, and gently rub them and it will help them fade. Um, and also a bit of toner on a Q-tip and rub them um, helps as well. And then she was like, you know, we can definitely do it lighter. She apologized about it being too dark. So it's like our first time together. So I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm not going back to her. Um, I think it's just more so about adjusting, um, me adjusting to her. She's adjusting to me and like what I like, you know, as a client. Super duper sweet customer service professionalism was there and also i really do like honestly love the shape of my brows i just felt like they were too dark and a little bit boxy you see but you know it is what it is or whatever i just wanted to come up here and update yes. you guys. all right good afternoon you guys it is the next day which is march 4th um i tried to do a little bit of recording in the car on my phone but i really wasn't feeling the quality on the phone so i was like i'll just get back here and you know grab my camera so I had a busy, busy morning this morning. Um, so I had the passport application appointment. I went and did that super easy. And then I went and grabbed something to eat. Um, I think it's called Brick Tops. I'll insert a little bit of the footage um, right now or probably before. Zane has a grooming appointment at 1.30. So it's 1.10 now. So I'm about to head out and take him to his grooming appointment. And then I'm actually going to go and get my birthday gift. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what my birthday gift is just yet. I'm getting a birthday gift to myself. You know what I mean? Something that I feel like I've worked hard for because I feel like I worked really, really hard um, this past like year and some change or whatever. And so it's just kind of like a little gift to myself. Nothing too big, but I am going to unbox it here on camera camera for you guys so you can see it um but yeah so yeah i mean you probably already don't know because you could tell by the title girl yes yeah, so i'm gonna go ahead and head over to take him to his grooming appointment and then i'm going to the mall to get my birthday gift from me to me period because self-love is what the best love let's <laughs> get it no but seriously it is all right, so I'll, I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera. Should I, no. I'm not gonna bring my camera cause I'll be right. <laughs> I can make you stay Cause baby I love you Why you trying
trying to break us up When I'm trying to build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby Alright you guys, sorry I'm trying not to be in the shadow Okay, alright you guys, so I made it back And I wanted to show you my purchase that I got from the mall Um, you probably have already seen clips As you can tell, I did get a Louis bag or whatever I got a Louis Vuitton bag And this is my first luxury purchase I'm so excited As I was telling you guys, like before I went to the mall Like I just wanted to get something for myself I've been working really, really hard Especially since I became full time And I just really wanted to treat myself And do something, you know, a little bit different If you guys know, this is my first luxury purchase whatsoever i do not own anything luxury and i'm still very much the girl that loves just like affordable trendy things but like i stated i'm turning 28 not that it's like you know it's not like a monumental age or something like that but you get what i'm saying like i'm turning 28 on monday and yeah i just wanted to treat myself so yeah we got our louis bag here bam it's thumbnail and i'm going to i'm gonna go eliminate y'all the sun is popping okay dang oh don't think i don't see you so i did want to do a little bit of an unboxing here on my channel for my birthday whenever i watch people that do luxury unboxing and things like that you know they're they make little comments and stuff like that. But if, you know, me purchasing luxury, again, just putting this disclaimer out, if me purchasing something that's luxury or whatever bothers you, then skip this portion um, because, yeah, I'm gonna show it to you. Nobody needs your negative comments. And if you do make some negative comments, then I'm just going to, I'm just gonna hide user or block you. So, yeah. Just wanted to put that disclaimer out there because a lot of people do it. And for some reason, it seems like still people get hate you know, for purchasing luxury for some reason, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so, let me pull the um, camera down so you can see. Like, look at this, oh, super cute. So let's open. This is, they just tie it really nicely. Okay, so it comes into this little dust bag right here before I open it. So this is my first luxury purchase. So you probably already know the process, girls, because some of y'all been on it or whatever. But in case you don't, I'm just showing you the process, I guess. But anyway, so the receipt comes into this little card holder right here. And oh, I loved, love, love my advisor. For it to be my first luxury purchase, like I just had the most amazing experience. I'm so freaking happy that I got her. Um, she was black. That didn't matter, girls, but you know it makes a difference. So I was just so freaking happy to have such an amazing experience. I got two things, but I'm getting one thing delivered to me. Um, and that should be here in about three to five days. I'm not bragging or anything like that. Again, like, I know some people are like, all right, girl, we get it, but you really have to, like, put that disclaimer out there because, like I said, people, you can say one thing and people will just take it and run with it and just do, think the complete opposite. But I'm not bragging or anything like that. I'm just simply telling you guys, like, the price that I paid. So for the wallet, again, I'll show you that whenever it comes in three to five working days, it says. But um, it was $570 and with taxes, $611.33, so that was that. I got the Vanity PM bag, and that was $2,650, and with taxes, it came out to $2,842.13. So my total today was about $3,500. Give or take, girl, you know. Y'all, look at this, ugh. Oh. It is super gorgeous. I love it so freaking much. I've been eyeing this bag for a while now. This can go in the front here, but I've been eyeing this bag literally for a while now. And I finally just jumped the gun and got it. Um, and it does come here with like a little lock. And 
and the key is like in here and then it comes with this black and gold chain here which i love to do a crossbody on the shoulder or i can just carry it by the handle um super cute but this is just the spacing of it so it's just really nice and quaint it's so freaking cute okay so this is how it looks all together oh this is so cute i love it so much and like I said, I can do a crossbody or whatever. But yes, this is my first purchase, you guys. I am so, so in love with this. All right, my battery's about to die, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is March 5th, Friday, and I'm about to head to take Zane to um, the vet. He feels much better, but um, I think he has like a little ear infection, um, you know, which is not anything that's uncommon for Frenchies. He did have a grooming appointment yesterday. And um, make my little coffee. But anyway, he had a grooming appointment yesterday and I just think maybe, you know, his ears were irritated from that. Cause they did wash his ears or clean his ears excuse me. so yeah I'm about to head over and i'll catch you guys in a few it's a little outfit for today and just a little jumpsuit some shoes um so yes today is march 6th it is saturday um it is 10 28 in the morning i actually um what did i do Woke up, walked Zane, fed Zane, ate. I also um, just got off the phone with my parents on FaceTime. So now I'm actually about to get ready. I'm headed to Top Golf today with some friends um, just to have a little small celebration for my birthday. I'm only limited because it's COVID. I'm only limited to six people in my party including myself. Right now we're going to be doing like a little maintenance. About to do my hair um, but not this hair girl. <laughs> I'm about to wash a wig and throw that on, but we're about to do like a little facial. I'm about to wax, I'm about to shave, and that's really it. But, so this is the wig that I want to wear. I don't know if I want to wear it today though. It looks so crunchy. <laughs> condition on my hair right now so I'm just gonna move on to my face I really don't have much to do I'm probably gonna go ahead and do this little facial should I do it before or after like I feel like I should do a facial tomorrow but I'm gonna go ahead and do it today <laughs> so I'm gonna do my little facial have my little steamer here this is the steamer This is a steamer. I got this from Amazon. So before I steam, which I don't really know the correct way to do this, to be honest with you, girl. I'm about to do this little wax. Girl, this chin. This chin. <laughs> this chin and this neck, like, oh my gosh. This little wax shit is, excuse my language, but this is like, it doesn't do well. I don't like to shave this area. I should just get this wax. Cause this doesn't do what I needed to do. Like it gets all the small hairs, 
But like all the big ones, no. <laughs> Girl, if you don't have hair that grows on your chin, neck, or I, I don't have a mustache, like I will say that. Like, I mean, obviously I have like a little peach fuzz, but I don't really have a lot. So girl, if you don't have hair that grow on your neck or chin, like you are lucky. Girl, that plucking worse than the wax. <laughs> girls so I am ready I'm not feeling <laughs> good at all because my hair didn't work out the way that I wanted it to and it's like quite upsetting because that was supposed to be my hair for um, tomorrow which is for like my actual birthday dinner um, and this hair right here I'm just not feeling like my actual hair because it's not done it's not laying the way that I want it to lay I don't even have the correct product so I had to do whatever I could and I just don't like it I feel like my makeup is ugly not to complain but I just am not feeling this look whatsoever so the turnout was completely different than what I thought and um that's just a little upsetting for me but it is what it is um this is what we're looking like today I'm just gonna see like tomorrow, like if I can find another wig to work, I don't know, just to work out. Like, I just don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. So yeah, I'm just see if I can find another wig that I can um, make work. I'm just not good at applying wigs and I really just wish I would have gotten my hair professionally done. You know, whatever. <laughs> Look, I'm about my plaid, bitch. I'm decked up on blue bills, and I won't stop until the cash pit look like fall leaves in the backfield. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bull. Quick to save my peace, I'm so after school special. She brainy, but them jeans looking like paint. I got a blessing. Let's talk a whole 
lie, no one damn well, they really can't press us I notated on leaflet, I'm really up a few levels with it Like way, way off the way from them, can't see me, you can't meddle with us E&J in my Earl Grey hood, brunched up With the cheese eggs and a dumb face, no stunner shade, still turned up Then had it pop in in broad day, that's Avi Flower child from the sun rays, but I run fake and I'm punch drunk My providence, they don't love us, they rather treat us like an animal They wonder why we on eight Escaping shit, I'm off the cannabis Middle fingers in tandem, going tantrum Yelling f*** 12 with a big smile, young phantom Hi mom, I'm on camera Coming live from the mud pit, we don't take post beef for granted I plan to keep it stress free, live and die young I leave it on the canvas, I split up some with my battery Have a trade day like it's a holiday My sh** on dumb flame to the wheels kill I'm on road rage yeah. On dumb flame to the wheels fall, I'm on road rage I've been on a run My third high open Been trying to kill emotion Life in the slums I've been on a run My third high open Yeah, yeah Ayy, ayy, f*** the ceiling I've been living out the moon roof with it I'm in tune with my senses Kill the tune with my sentence every time I've been in the mood, got a feeling What we doing, got a human, they ain't used to it Rely me to the pledge when I said it No caps and I'm burning till I see black And I still ride for it on a couple flats I've been down, better than this back Been slayed to a 9 to 5, now we booming, no stopping the digital trap Been slayed to a 9 to 5, now we booming, no stopping the digital trap I've been on a run My third high open Trying to kill emotion, yeah, yeah Life in the slums My third eye open You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it and when I get the money back, then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you doing alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top of yeah, oh yeah Like how you do it alright Everything good alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top alright, oh yeah I wanna know it tonight I wanna be the one to surprise you Wake you up in the morning I wanna be the Y'all, why I look so rough right now? Like, who am I? Like, girl, you look crazy. <laughs> it's not funny. Um, but anyway, so good morning, you guys, or good afternoon, excuse me. It is actually the next day, which is March 7th, and it's about 2 o'clock. Well, it's a little bit after 2 o'clock. I am about to get ready for my birthday dinner tonight. I just tweeted... Um, if you're not following me on Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter or whatever. You know, your girl trying to, you know, dip and dab into new platforms or whatever. TikTok, Twitter, all of that. Just posted on Twitter that um, I wouldn't be posting a vlog today because I am celebrating my birthday today and tomorrow. So I'll get back to the regular schedule <laughs> next week or whatever or this upcoming week, like in a few days. But yeah, so... Real quick, just wanted to update you guys. I didn't go to Top Golf. Well, I did go to Top Golf yesterday, as you seen, but we couldn't get in Top Golf because by the time we arrived there, they said they were not accepting any more walk-ins. So we went to this place called Queen Park Social, and they just have a lot, and I mean a lot of um, games and things like that. If you are in Charlotte, you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. But if you're not from Charlotte, you plan to visit it is a very nice place for you to go and eat play games and you know just be social that was like a last resort you know type of thing um because we really had to think on our feet but i will say that i wasn't really comfortable being in that atmosphere because baby i know they're lifting 
you know, the mask mandate. I don't think North Carolina is one of them. I haven't really been keeping up with it or whatever, but I'm still gonna wear my mask at. I don't care if you, <laughs> if you lift it or not. I don't care like what you decide, but I'm still gonna wear my mask out. But I wasn't really comfortable because like literally like the people at the door, like the security when they were checking your ID and also when they were checking, um, and then like, you know, when they do like the little wand or whatever, just to check to make sure you don't have anything on you that's gonna harm anybody, da da da. Like, and just the the servers, um, just people in general, like y'all seen in the clips, I y'all may have seen in the clips, I don't know, but people didn't have their mask on. Like, we were in this, like we were still social distancing. So like where we were sitting at, it was like this little glass ball. Y'all don't mind this, this is um jail build up jail but anyway so where we were sitting at like we had like this little glass here where you can look and you can see like all the people at the bar and things like that girl like the bar when i say there was the bar was like packed packed with people and i literally saw not one person with the mask on i was like oh no like i felt so uncomfortable like there but luckily we had like our own little section we was able to bowl and we had like our own little section and you know we still kept our mask on obviously if we were eating and drinking we don't have our mask on so yeah i'm about to get ready i'm about to get in the shower do a little face mask shave or whatever get ready so i can um get myself together hopefully i pray lord please please do it for me <laughs> please <laughs> let my hair come out good okay good today because yesterday i was a little bit late i was running behind because my hair was so freaking ugly it was so horrible i did not like it whatsoever and i mean i know i can do my slick bags and things like that or whatever like you know when you have like a certain vision in your head and you want it to work out so perfectly because again it's your birthday <laughs> and it don't work out like that's a problem okay so that's that's a legit problem for me like yesterday when i was like all upset or whatever i was really upset because i really wanted my hair to work out i'm not saying that i wasn't cute with my little slick bag but god lee i just want a little extra length i got a new wig you know brewing on the towel right now hopefully it's gonna work out for your girl because if not then i'm gonna have another bad day <laughs> so i just want to show you guys my dress and my shoes really quick before i head into the bathroom before i start getting ready and then i'll probably come back on here when i'm about to do my makeup so you know you can get the full details or whatever i'm gonna get one of those little things that you can attach here where you can just pull it out and you can hang your clothes there but i just wanted to hang my dress up because it is a little bit long so this is the dress that i am wearing for tonight i got this from fashion nova i'm telling you all these details now in case i miss it in the comment i mean in case i miss it in the description box or just in case i don't get to update you guys because you know i tend to run a little bit late <laughs> but this dress is from fashion nova it's really a simple basic you know dress or whatever i'm not really doing too much i love the color um on the tag it says it's this mustard color and it has like this little split right here um it's a slinky material so it's really hugging on the body as you can tell and it has like this little drop here at the top and crisscross on the back it is spaghetti straps i really do like it on me i wish it was a tad bit longer but you know it is what it is i did get another dress from fashion nova which was this right here it's just like sequence dress but i honestly don't like it whatsoever so we're not gonna do that one <laughs> this one is what i'm doing and then for these shoes baby baby you're not ready for this you are not ready for the shoes okay i don't care if you don't like them or not i think they are cute period the shoes we're gonna go ahead and get over to these bad boys here look at these shoes baby these shoes i am here for yes like these right here oh come on come on shoe come on shoe look at that look at that y'all can't tell me these colors ain't pretty together these straps right here wrap around your ankle and it's like this little cute little bow here oh baby you can't tell me this is not cute i love this so much pointy toe you know it's purse bag heels here's the heel on the back I think these are so cute. So yeah, this is how we looking tonight. I gotta figure out what um, coat I wanna wear because the weather is nice. Like the weather is nice now, but by the time I'm getting ready to go to my dinner, it's gonna be cold. Like the sun's gonna go down. So yeah, I gotta find out a little jacket. But yeah, I'm gonna try and like show y'all full view. Like once your girl get it together, either it's gonna be on my phone or the camera. So yeah, let me go ahead and get ready.
Oh. Oh, uh, nice. It's the beat for me. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is March 8th, Monday. It is my birthday. And your girl is officially old now. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm officially 28th. My Starbucks here. You guys know what I like to get. It is a iced white mocha with extra caramel drizzle and um, whipped cream. Mmm. It's so good. Last night we went to Restoration Hardware. Obviously seen some clips there. The food was so good. I always get the lobster roll and oh my God, like it literally melts in your mouth. Like it is so freaking good. I cannot even explain it. And I also got truffle fries with it. Everything was good. It was amazing. Y'all I have to tell you about what happened last night. Let me put the camera down. We went to Restoration Hardware and then I was trying to take some pictures because I really wanted to take a birthday picture and so um i went to this little area where um i was just because you know restoration hardware like if you've ever been into a restoration hardware um store you know that it is a vibe okay like it is very much like just it's so pretty in there so you really have to like take pictures and then if it's your birthday or if you are uh, celebrating a special occasion you want to take pictures in there especially like if you look good so i was trying to take pictures in there and I was at this like little specific area trying to take pictures. Um, probably like two or three servers walked past. They didn't say anything to me because obviously when you're taking a picture, you don't have on your mask. Um, but they didn't say anything to me. Like one person like really honestly like complimented me. He was like, you look too beautiful. Like because he was going to try and go through because I guess that was the pathway to the... Um, to get to the kitchen or whatever and then um i was like um i was like oh you can go ahead he's like no 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 you you just stay there he's like you look too beautiful i'll go around or whatever so that was that the host came over and he was like yeah you need to put your mask on um we can't you know allow anybody to be like up around doing things without their mask on or whatever i was like, all right cool even though that was annoying to me, I was like, all right, cool, whatever. So we started walking back to our table, and then he was like, you need to put your mask on right now. And I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, damn. I was like, don't you see me walking back to the table? I don't have my mask on. So, like, okay. So that was one strike. Like, that rubbed me the wrong way, but I was like, whatever. But I literally said, damn, to him. Like, I don't have my mask on. You can wait. So anyway, um, got on mask. I came back to him and I was like, so you can't, so we can't take pictures at all, which is just really weird to me because I feel like you got all these people. Well, I'm going to get to that point. But anyway, so I was like, so we can't take, take pictures at all. He was like, no, you can't take pictures at all. Um, unless you're like at your table, you know, you can take pictures at your table or whatever. But like, once you go and start walking around the actual place, like the restaurant or even in, um, even in like the actual store, like the showrooms or whatever, you can't take pictures of what he was saying. So, all right, whatever. I was like, okay, whatever. So we snuck down to like <laughs> the second floor to try and take pictures or whatever. Cause I was like, well, I mean, I want a picture. <laughs> I'm not gonna have this dress on again. Like this is gonna be like my only birthday picture or whatever. Um, so I was like, uh, so we snuck down to the um, the second floor to try to take pictures. Like literally, he came down those steps so fast. And he was like, ma'am, ma'am, you need to put your mask on. I want to tell you again. And I'm like, I was like, all right, cool. Like we're going to put our mask on and whatnot. But I kept taking my pictures because, sir, there's other people in this restaurant that are taking pictures. I was like, you're only targeting us and you're only saying something to us when there's a group of girls over there on the side taking pictures. He's like, where, where? I was like, they're over there on the side. I said, but you're too worried about us taking pictures that you're not looking at everybody who's taking pictures and don't have their mask on. And so he was like, put your mask on. Like, that's literally how he said, girl. I said, don't talk to me like that. And um, I was really about to cuss him out because like, sir, you're really pissing me off at this point. He then went to the other girls that were taking their pictures and said something to them or whatever. But literally, like you're literally stalking me at this point and I'm trying to take a quick picture. That's it. At that point, I was really, really annoyed. I was like, I want to speak to the manager. Your host is really, really rude or whatever. Like, he was saying that, you know, we can't take pictures with our mask on. Like, anytime we're walking around, we have to have the mask on. Da, 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 or whatever. Sorry. But I was like, and I understand that, you know, you have to have the mask. It is required. Other people are not comfortable with you not having a mask on. I wasn't trying to break the rules, if that makes sense. But I said that, you know, the way that he spoke to me, he's, he can deliver his message 
um, in a better way, in the way that he, you know, spoke to me. Um, I understand, I get it or whatever, but he doesn't have to talk to people that way or whatever. Because legit, I was about to cuss his ass. Like, I was literally about to go in on him. And I was like, let me calm down because there's people here that's like here for me, support me. They got up, they got ready on a Sunday night to come and like see me. I don't like people that are disrespectful. Like, that's one thing I'm not going to tolerate. And then like I'm saying like, sir, and you're not going to give people special treatment so you know these hoes down the street <laughs> or over there getting their taking their pictures don't say something to me but not say nothing to them like that's just a no no or whatever but the manager was like oh that's not his first time like he knows that he can come off very aggressive and you know people have said something about him before he said that he'll talk to him on the side da, da, da. i told him that it was my birthday or whatever and i was honestly just trying to take a picture like that's it or whatnot I, and then we were still social distancing. There was no one, no one around. Literally, there was no one around the second on the second floor. Nobody was coming up or down the stairs. Nobody was around. <laughs> no one was around. He was like, you know, first off, happy birthday. He was like, he literally had ladies down. He's like, you can take a picture. Like he literally gave me permission to go ahead and take a picture or whatever. And I'm like, well, shit, I'm done now. Like, I don't want to take no picture. <laughs> and he was like, you know, I'm gonna do something special for you. It's your birthday, you know, da da da. He was like, I can take pictures. He said he literally had ladies last night or the night prior taking photos like for 40 minutes or whatever. But y'all, like I literally seen people Okay, taking pictures without their mask. Somebody went to a whole nother table to take pictures that was already sanitized, cleaned, and they took pictures. Oh, she didn't have a mask on or whatever. That was not her table. Yeah, he took care of everything, which I really appreciated. So, um, that was really nice of him. I went down to the second level and we found like this little discreet area and we were able to take some pictures there, like a group picture as well as, um, my individual pictures, but I want to show you the cake I got. It's so freaking cute. This cake is from Publix, and y'all, you know, you know, okay? Y'all know Publix cake. If you ain't never had Publix cake before, you missing out. Like, if you know, you know. So here's the cake. It is so freaking beautiful. Like. Uh, I don't know. I love it so much and it says happy birthday I'm a big 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 fan of flowers and I just love like the colors and also I'll see it has like this little drip on the side but Yes, this is how the cake looks. I think it's so beautiful. I cannot wait to cut it y'all because Again, if you know All right, you guys so I am ready. I'm gonna show you my outfit really quick I'm about to go and get some sushi um, for lunch. I'm about to show you my outfits and I know you girls gonna be like girl shoes like <laughs> you've been wearing these shoes back to back and yes baby i love them okay like they're super comfortable and you know okay i just i just love them okay so this is how my hair looks it did turn out good i'm not a professional like you know don't look too close on a lace but it is still super cute um so let me show you this outfit really quick and then we can leave so it is really nice here in charlotte right now this top that i got from forever 21 girl got the little girl showing like <laughs> The push-up bra is doing wonders, <laughs> but I love it. And then um, I just have on my jewelry that I always had. Forgot the name of the company, but I will link it um, down below. But this one I think I got from uh, Miss Lola and this one is actually from my boutique, but it's no longer available. I just have on these like little hoops here, nothing too serious. And then the same little arm candy that I always wear. This watch is the Michael Kors smartwatch. It's the Sophie edition, I believe. So yeah, that's that. This is like really, really old. Oh, this little chain bracelet right here, the little links as you can see, that is from um, Target. So yeah. This top here is from, oh, the earrings are also from Target. The top here is from Forever 21. I love it because it's a bodysuit, very seamless. And then I have on these like sweatpants. I got them real high waisted. I got these from Misguided. It actually comes with like a uh, hoodie, but I'm just gonna wear it like this today. And then these are the same shoes that I've been wearing. <laughs> that I've been wearing like literally every day this week. They are super freaking comfortable, like, oh. Me, okay, I know I be sounding country when I say comfortable, but I can't help it. But yeah, they're super freaking comfortable and I just can't really help that. That I'm wearing these like non-stop. I have literally worn these probably like, mm, maybe like four times this week. And then I just have on my little Louis bag that I just got, okay? I literally have just been into like these all brown chocolate colors lately. So yeah, this is what we've given. Mm -hmm.
So I just went to the plant bar here in Charlotte. My first plant right here. You probably can't really see it because it is dark. Here I am so excited. This is my first real plant. Um, usually I am just on the faux plants here. But yeah, um, I think 28, me being, you know, me turning 28, it's, it's getting grown woman here, okay? We we out here getting live plants. Drop it, mm. she ain't gave me none that in the wild. She's a bug. Uh-uh, uh-uh, come on. afternoon it just turned 12 o'clock so good afternoon you guys it is march 9th tuesday it's the next day um i had such an amazing birthday i'm actually about to end this vlog right here your girl had to take that wig off baby because like them place fronts be tight <laughs> a few things that i do need to do this week but i'm not gonna lie like I'm gonna chill out today. I wanted to show you my Louis Vuitton package that just came in, which was the wallet. Um, I ordered it in store and I just got it today. Y'all seen the bag? Um, I have already opened it just a little bit, but I just wanna show y'all. This is what it came in. It was like a little bowl. It came with this right here and it had like a bowl. I'll try to insert like a picture because I took a picture before I undid it. And I was just gonna open it, but I was like, let me do it on the vlog. So yeah, this is how this looks. This is just actually like an empty little card. So I guess if you were giving this as a gift, you can kind of write on it or whatever, but it's just a little empty card. And this is how it comes. All right. And then, 
you just pull this out it comes with this little dust bag it says louis vuitton on it and yes here it is oh my gosh ah oh, this is how it looks it has like the gold detailing right here obviously it's monogram and it matches my bag if we open it up i wanted this one because i love the chocolate brown inside one that she showed me was um it was pink it was kind of like this magenta inside and i just wanted something a little bit neutral especially for it being my first time all right earl got me this and this and he wrote me a card and he got me a gift card and italy also got me a birthday card and she gave me a gift card to um a nail salon got another um birthday card then my love got me a card and surprised me with a trip i will tell you guys where i'm going in probably like a month or two i'm still waiting on my passport yes i am just now getting a passport or yes i'm just now applying for a passport um don't judge me better late than never i'm going to end the vlog here i so 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 appreciate you guys for tuning in to today's vlog you know spending my birthday with me um i appreciate you guys so much another year of life i'm so glad that you guys are you know a part of my journey um it really means a lot to me and thank you so 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 much for all the birthday wishes you guys don't know how much it means just to have people from all around the world to like you know support me and um just wish me happy birthday take time out of the day to wish me happy birthday i just love it so much but yes thank you again hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next week's vlog.